tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Okay, welcome to the first lesson in dribbling. Okay, now let's just remember the game we are practicing or the sport is soccer. Okay, soccer is a sport or a game that you mostly use your feet, okay, and you can't use your hands. So today, I want you to try your very, very, very best to not use your hands. But if the ball's rolling really far away or it's, it might uh, hit something that's going to um, knock something down or it needs to be grabbed with your hands, you can use your hands. But try your best today to not use your hands. And we're going to only be using our feet to what's called dribble. We are going to work on dribbling. We are going to dribble a ball and work on dribbling. Both of those words mean the same thing. What does dribbling mean? What does it mean to dribble? Dribbling or to dribble. This says dribbling. Dribbling is... When a player, it says player, is you, a student, a person, a player. That means anyone who wants to dribble. A player controlling the ball through movement. So to dribble or dribbling means to control the ball through movement. Control means keep it close to you. Keep it away from the other person trying to take it. Keep it near you. Okay? Control a ball through movement. Okay, now, there's some other sports that you use dribbling. In basketball, okay, we dribble with our hands or our fingertips. You guys will learn that, okay? In hockey, we dribble the puck or the ball with a stick. Well, guess what? In soccer, we are going to dribble using, that's right, soccer uses our feet okay so we're going to be using our feet to control the ball through movement okay let's begin our first drill in dribbling okay class let's really talk quickly about our indoor rules while we're learning in front of our cameras okay so first no kicking I don't want to see any kids just running up and kicking the ball. We are not scoring a goal. We're not trying to kick to the, to the ceiling or kick to the other side of the room. No kicking. Okay, I don't want you guys to uh, hit any furniture or electronics. Please, no kicking. Okay, we are just dribbling for this lesson. Now, next rule. This says freeze while coach teaches. Here's what I want you to do. Coach is going to call a penguin freeze, okay? So I'm going to show you really quick what a penguin freeze is, okay? So I'm going to turn the computer. Here we go. Penguin freeze. When I say penguin freeze, okay, I want you to do this. I want you to put your feet together like a penguin and freeze the ball just like this. This means penguin freeze. Please do a penguin freeze. Put your hands behind your back while coach teaches so you're not playing, okay? So if you're dribbling, the coach says, okay, penguin freeze. Put your feet together, freeze the ball, and watch coach, okay? And get ready for the next drill. Number eight drill is a lesson, okay? Okay, so what I want everybody to do is start with the penguin freeze. Put your feet like a penguin, and put the ball between your feet, put your hands behind the back, and listen, okay? Everybody should be doing a penguin freeze, okay? Do not start until a coach starts the clock, okay? When I start the clock, you practice. So the first drill, remember a drill is a practice lesson, like the thing we're going to do, the activity, is going to be called the tick-tock drill. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to look down at my feet. I want to say to myself, everybody say, inside feet. Inside feet is this part of your foot, the inside here, okay? Inside, inside, where the ball is when you freeze, okay? 
inside feet. So what you're going to do is you're going to practice first controlling the ball doing touches using tick-tock words. Touches means you softly touch the ball. We're not kicking hard. So watch coach. Okay, we're just standing in one spot. Okay, hands behind our back and the ball is going to gently roll between my feet. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Using inside feet. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Now if the ball goes away from me, that's okay. Bring it back. We are not moving right now, only the ball is moving. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Now if you get pretty good, you can start going a little faster. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Oh, but if you have to chase the ball, then you need to slow down. Okay, bring the ball back. Start slow. Tick, tock. Inside feet. Tick, tock. I'm not using my toes. I'm using only touching the ball with my inside feet. Tick. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, get ready. We're gonna do 30 seconds of inside feet tick tock. Okay. All right, 30 seconds tick tock drill. Only the ball moves. Okay, back and forth between my inside feet. You guys ready? Let's go. Hands behind my back, inside feet, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Keep your eyes on the ball, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Inside feet, tick, tock. Soft touches, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Awesome. Just a reminder, everybody should be in a penguin freeze until coach starts the clock, okay? When the clock stops, go back to penguin freeze. Freeze the ball between your penguin feet, hands behind your back. The next drill, that means the next practice lesson we're going to do is we're going to do tick-tock Still only our inside feet. We're not using our toes. We're not kicking and chasing the ball. Try to keep the ball under your eyes as you keep your eyes on the ball. This time we are going to do tick-tock moving forward. That means the ball is going to move between our feet. Tick-tock, tick-tock. And our body is going to slowly walk in a forward direction. Okay, we're going to do this for one minute so we get a lot of practice, okay? Now, if the ball goes away, runs away, and, and you have to go get it and come back, that's okay. Try your best to only use your inside feet. You guys ready? Okay, so, we are going to do forward, okay? A forward direction, just a straight line. Imagine that there is a straight line inside of your house or on your floor or your yard, wherever you're at right now practicing. Just a straight line. We're going to move forward and control the ball. We're dribbling, okay? Using tick-tock. We are going to do Okay, tick, tock, tick, tock. Moving slowly forward, we're walking forward using our inside feet. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Eyes down on the ball, keep the ball under your eyes the best you can. Tick, tock, tick, tock. We're just moving forward. Tick, tock, soft touches. Tick. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Now, if you run out of space, turn around. Tick, tock, still a straight line. Tick, tock, 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 tick, tick,
Okay, look at that pathway, the blue line. Everybody in kinder through fifth grade should know that that is a zigzag pathway. Now we're going to do, using inside feet only, tick-tock with our feet. We're going to dribble in a zigzag pathway. You guys ready? Let's do one minute in a zigzag pathway. Hands behind your back, inside feet, tick-tock, tick-tock, zig. Pretend you have a zigzag pathway in front of you on your ground. Inside feet only. Zig in and tag it. Keep the ball below your feet. Sorry, below your eyes. All right, Mustangs. Now, we have been using just our inside and both of our left and right foot. So our inside feet doing tick, tock, soft touches, keeping our eyes on the ball, controlling the ball. That means keep it close, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do for this drill. I want you to practice still controlling and dribbling the ball. That means using soft touches, but I want you to practice hands behind your back. I want you to use your inside foot and you can use the outside part of your foot. Okay, here's my inside. Outside is just the opposite, the outside part of my foot. So my outside is on here and here. Okay, so I want you to practice moving in a straight line using inside and outside touches, okay? We are still not using toe. We're not using toe. No toe. And to stop the ball, if, you, if the ball starts rolling away, no stepping on the ball, okay? I don't want anybody stepping on the ball. We'll learn that later, okay? Because you can step, fall, trip, and you can uh, bump your head or get hurt. If you need to stop the ball that's rolling, whoa! Or if it's rolling, use your inside foot or your outside foot to stop it. That's called trapping the ball. You're going to learn more about that later, okay? So only inside and outside touches, okay? And we're going to move in a straight line using inside and outside feet this time. Let's do it for one minute. Tick, talk, tick, talk, tick, talk. Inside and outside feet. Tick, talk. Practice using the outside and inside of your feet. Tick, talk, tick, talk, tick, talk. Don't chase the ball. Touch softly. Keep the ball close to you. Tick, talk, tick, talk. Tick, tock. Slow it down if you need to. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Keep the ball under your eyes the best you can. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. You run out of space, turn around. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Inside and 